Hey guys, I'm the Average Gamer Show today. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about Void Train and if it's worth it as someone who is a new player. So in Void Train, we'll be doing a little bit of this. There's also lots of crafting in Void Train, crafting uh, iron bars and copper bars and different materials and things. And uh, you're also trying to research uh, to get more materials and uh, more unlocks for your train so you can upgrade it further. There's also these stations you come upon, like the one that's happening now. And uh, it allows you to upgrade your train further and expand it, add new engines, and just overall upgrade it. A lot of the stations and outposts have a lot of enemies actually, and the enemies are pretty accurate. Sometimes they'll start shooting at you even before you come around the corner, and uh, but they're not like too hard to kill or anything. There's a lot of upgrades that drop from the enemies, and uh, you can upgrade your weapons, and which makes it a lot more powerful and a lot more useful. There's also some boss enemies that you can fight, and here's one of them now. I'm just kind of. I actually died to the boss animation, so I'm just shooting it with the uh, base pistol after you die. After you die, you drop your stuff, but uh, you can come back and pick it back up. All the parts for the weapon crafting are dropped from enemies, and actually, enemies drop a lot of them, so you have to kind of like sort through them and figure out what works best for you and your gun if you value damage, if you value range, if you value uh, rate of fire, things like that. I'm just modifying this little gun that I picked off an enemy. Looks like our little train is ready to grow. You can upgrade your train at the stations. You can add a new wagon to it. Uh -oh. It allows the train to be expanded even train. further than it currently is. You can add new so uh, engines to it. You know, change the speed of your train. Add all sorts of things to it. And uh, it's a pretty cool little system. You have to have a lot of crafting materials from gathering, though, to do so. Building in this game is pretty similar to a lot of other survival games. Just open up a build menu, choose what you want to build, and start building it. You need a lot of materials, again, to do so, which is where a lot of the resource gathering uh, comes into play. So overall, I really like Void Train, but it is a slow kind of moving game because you have to do a ton of resource gathering. And unlike Raft, there's no automated system to do so, so you're constantly collecting resources. Now, you can also play multiplayer with friends, and I would imagine that would help a lot with the resource gathering uh, issues, like just being able to gather a lot faster and things and uh, honestly I really enjoy the game I just think that over time it may get tedious but uh, it has been in early access for a couple years at this point since it launched on Epic Game Store in 2021 but now it's recently come to Steam in the last couple of days and um, I would suggest buying it on Steam if that's where you want it anyways because uh, yeah so originally the game was going to be on Steam, but right before launch it got pulled to be an Epic Game Store exclusive. So if you don't like Epic Game Store, you don't like Epic Game Store paying for exclusive deals, I don't know, it's up to you whether you want to support this game or not, because a game being advertised and then ripped off a platform right before launch is kind of a shady thing. But I still like the game, I still bought it. And I'm still enjoying it. If you like other survival games and crafting games, I think this game will be right up your alley. Uh, it is just you traveling on a path and uh, upgrading your train and getting it better. A lot of the there's no like PvP or anything like that. It's all PVE. So you're gonna be facing just the AI with you or a friend. I don't know how many. I think there's like four people that can play together. Anyways. When I understand, but uh, I'll have to try out multiplayer to see how that is in the future. But overall, I have really enjoyed the experience and I'm looking forward to playing even more. And uh, honestly, yeah, let me know 
what do you guys think below? Um, heard some good, heard some bad, just a lot of resource gathering, mainly. Very slow kind of moving game at first, and it gets a little bit better once you get some more stuff. But, uh, this is not the Gamers. Sign off. Catch you guys in the next video.